the wild coast, South Africa, tourists enjoy a pleasure cruise aboard the Greek luxury liner Oceanus. I see the we can have a good cruise! Yeah! Little do they know that just 12 hours later, their dream vacation would become a nightmare. Damaged by a severe storm, the enormous ocean liner is taking on water and sinking fast. Its 400 terrified passengers are shocked when they discover that the captain and his cowardly crew have piled their luggage into several of the lifeboats and sailed off, leaving them to die. Cruise ship entertainer Julian Butler remembers the scene. They were, the crew members were bringing down suitcases and bags and all their belongings. I had questioned the staff captain, why are we not putting any passengers on this boat? He said, bring 10. 10 out of probably 60 people on, on a lifeboat, not enough. With panic and confusion all around him, another of the ship's entertainers, Moss Hills, goes below deck to see how quickly the water is rising. I could see water rushing down the passenger area. I'm right down below now. There's water everywhere. It's sloshing about from side to side. It's like a blow. You think, my God, you know, we're sinking. Since the crew has abandoned ship, Moss and Julian realize it's up to them to lead the 400 frightened passengers to safety. I didn't know what to do. None of us did who were helping out. And it's completely irresponsible. How can you not, how can you not run, run the rescue? I think my biggest fear was the fact that we had many elderly passengers on board the ship. I think I could look after myself. But I know that those older people, if the ship was going down, they couldn't swim for their life. Half the passengers make it into the lifeboats when another tragedy strikes. The ship leans over too far rendering the remaining lifeboats useless. We couldn't launch any more lifeboats. They wouldn't go down. And so we were trapped on board, more than 200 people, and no other way to get off. Panic grips the passengers as Moss and Julian race to the ship's bridge and try to radio for help. Uh, National Sea Rescue need the spare channel. Can you help over? So we just started on the radio, you know, mayday, mayday, trying to make some kind of contact. Uh, eventually, we did make contact with the ship. And, and told him what our situation was. And he says to me, you know, what rank are you? So I said, I'm not a rank, I'm, I'm a guitarist. And he just says, what are you doing on the bridge? And I said, well, there's nobody else here. For five agonizing hours, the passengers wait for the helicopters to arrive. But the dangerously high winds, coupled with the treacherous seas, put the rescue mission in jeopardy. Then when the helicopters arrived, the wind was still blowing a lot, they, they couldn't they couldn't get down onto the deck. They're sort of swinging around like that in the wind. With precious seconds ticking away, Moss lashes himself to the railing in order to guide the rescuer on board. Moments later, they start strapping the first of the passengers into the safety harness. It was quite difficult because as the ship's pitching and rolling, that cable is getting longer and shorter all the time. I got really scared and I thought, you know, while saving someone, I, I could be very well killing someone. Two by two, the passengers are hoisted to safety. With the ship minutes away from sinking, Moss sends the last terrified tourists up to the waiting helicopters. Finally, it's time for Moss and Julian to be rescued. We put the harness on together, made the signal. I'd done it for all the passengers, now I did it for us. And we got hoisted up. And it's an incredible feeling. Looking back, you're just getting lifted off to safety, and there's my ship, the Oceanus, just below us, on its side, nose going down, and just sinking before my very eyes. And one of the Navy people from the shore said to me, is everyone off? And I just, yes, it's all over. And I, I just collapsed. Watching the Oceanus in its final moments, Julian is reminded of another tragedy at sea. And it was amazing to see that ship go down straight down vertical, like the Titanic, almost. It was sad to see everything going down, but we had our lives, and that's the most important. Back on shore, loved ones who were separated during the rescue are reunited. They owe their lives to the two brave men who stepped forward in their moment of crisis and became heroes. And if it wasn't for the TFC and entertainment staff, I don't know what would have happened. I'm just happy that we're alive. 
Amazingly, all of the passengers survived. No thanks to the captain who left them for dead. When I order abandon the ship, it doesn't matter what time I leave. Abandon is for everybody. If some people like to stay, they can stay. Thank you.